good evening out there, Specky fans. Time to add more code to the tile map. It's another one, and again, I didn't get to do anything today in terms of coding. I wanted to create new tiles. And in fact, that's where I'm going to start the video today. Nice, simple, no coding. Just looking at Pro Motion NG. I'm trying to make a 4 bit bitmap of all the tiles. Switch that across. So, this is where I've got to so far. So I'm looking at Pro N Pro Motion NG on a recommendation. It looks like it can handle tiles, and it can certainly do um, four bit bitmap as well. However, like any new application, well, when I say new, new to me, um, I'm finding it a bit hard to actually learn the ins and outs well just the basics I mean of drawing you know I'm used to doing it in, in a certain app I I micro good to see you man yeah I've gone for pro motion I hope this comes through all right on the stream it looks rubbish on my preview window but that's because it's tiny but I've put it into four color uh, four bit mode and these are all tiles I find it very hard because magnifying, zooming in and out, it only goes to the center. I cannot find a way of scrolling that other than the wheel, uh, the bar at the bottom here. Finding that a little awkward so far. But it was one of them things as well. I, I got home from work and I thought, well, if I mess around too much longer, it'll be too late to do a stream. Hey ho, Vulcan. Good to see you, dude. I've been reading through a bit of the code we did yesterday because as you probably realised, you know, I was just up to chin level in my debt, you know, surviving. And uh, I've started to get to grips with it. I did find another page on the Spectrum Next website. So there's this one, which we've already seen here. I hadn't actually found this until today. But that tells you a little bit more about it. I haven't even read down to here yet. Um, so well, luckily we've got this working example of it. <laughs> Too much help, yeah. No, it was, it was brilliant help, to be fair. That would have took weeks, wouldn't it, to get that done. But the problem with it, if I load quickly onto the code... We run out of memory, and Emuk was saying we could end up loading the sprites into the sprite memory and then forgetting it. And I think that's what we need to do at some point very soon. But luckily, we've got a tile map showing now. But I want to get it looking nice. It still looks rubbish. And um, there's also some problems with it, aside from the running out of memory thing. If it loads up, oh, I've been playing with it too much. I think I just changed. God, it's one of them. Hey, hang on. That's the right. That's meant to be a one. I think I just didn't save it, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. It's back showing. I was trying to get it to not show in the border. And I haven't successfully done that yet. I've seen the bit that does that, does that but. Can't find it in my code. But yeah, it'd be nice to have this looking good. But if you see the top left, the tiles there, there's two that are redrawn, the same. And then it's missing the grass, which should be the final one. So I think I messed up the, um, the source image when I went into the hex editor. And it would be nice just to make a proper tile map now. And then we'd know for sure whether it was the code or the tile map. 
So that's why I got this program here um, to try and do that, but I wasn't quick enough to do it before the stream started. I believe this would be our 16 color palette at the top here. I believe that will pretty much represent what we're going to see on screen. I hope so anyway. And it's, it's really awkward this. I can zoom in quite far, but then I have to scroll with this. It's just getting used to it, isn't it? You know, it's getting used to it. See, I don't know how to like mask off just this area yet. So that I can every time this pops in the way. I want to fill just that really. Yeah, that's okay then that'll do. So I guess let's just make some super simple ones first. So I'll probably have grass be that colour actually. I'm not going to spend all night doing this, don't worry, but I thought it was a nice change of pace, to be fair, from yesterday. But I'm certainly going to do some coding afterwards. That's going to be a bush in a minute. That'll be some grass. Yeah, I'm not going to go overboard here. But let's do like... See, if I press fill, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I want two lots of water. Oh dear. Huh. Like, forgive me if anyone's watching this and they know how to use this program because I'm probably do using it the most new possible way. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on with this tile. Why is it duplicating like that? Hmm. All right, well, I'll start a new project. Try again. I've set it up already. No, I'll, I'll start a new one, but on this program still. But I want to see what happened. I can't imagine what happened there. But can you read that? I've set it up 32 by 24, 8 by 8. And for some reason you have to still tell it how many tiles, even though I've just fed all that numbers into it, but can't quite work that out. I haven't ticked use alpha transparency, of course, but here it does require me to specify. It also says something about the palette here, but I don't think we need to worry about that. All right, so let's have magenta. Oh, oh dear. See, I can't even see this really, even though I've got it full screen. Do you think that was what it was? I'm not sure though. Oh, you can zoom that, look. <laughs> I find that mental. <laughs> I couldn't colour in properly. But I don't actually think that was the case, to be honest. I'm not sure if you can see the lines on the stream. Right, that's maximum zoom now.
Huh, now it's not even drawing. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, good, Vulcan. Oh, this is a bit frustrating right now. Can't see that it's them import setting doing anything. I find it weird you can't scroll, I'm pro uh, probably like, painful to watch that. What's this? I don't want to work in tile place mode. What's it talking about? I placed it directly inside the tile. What is it on about? What the flip? I didn't click anything to get into this mode. It was drawing a minute ago. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of it. Oh, <laughs> it's one way to get out of that man. Oh, it's opened in the other window. There we go. Alright, let's begin a new project. I don't know what happened there, I think it was bugged. I'm gonna try not putting a magenta background. <laughs> So I've got it just back in rectangle mode and now it works. Okay. I'll fill them in in a minute because I want to see if it does that thing. It's strange though, right? We've only got 16 colours now. And I get that. But if I flip back to my game again, and we look at the tile map we loaded yesterday, that's got orange. How has it got orange and red? 
and yellow on the sprite. Oh, I suppose that's nothing to do with the tile map. But... I don't know. I'm not quite sure that the palette I'm using is going to match up. But let's let's continue. So it seems to be working fine now. I do not know how it got in that other setting. This thing's lurking around here. I don't know. Some carpet. Make a rock. And then maybe like a doorway. Doorway will be able to be two, I reckon, because like the sprite is 16 wide. <laughs> that was strange. What? That's the bright red though, isn't it? <laughs> Can we use it anyway? <laughs> right, back on the paintbrush, where are you? Line tool, I don't want that. Paintbrush. Alright, we've got some grass. I was going to make a bush as well. Like a I don't really care what it looks like at this stage, it's taking way too long. I mean, there's no reason why we have to have two colours only, I guess. Put a couple of berries in the bush. <laughs> it's a scary looking bush. Where's the brown? I need a brown. Oh dear. Oh look, this is like a reference of the of the other one. I thought that was going on. What the flip is going on with this thing? There's nothing stopping us doing that as well though, Vulcan, for level 2. Still shift the pallets. We've got, we've got to have this amount of tiles, like this, this tile sheet, is, that's how many tiles. You can't just load like a portion. So you might as well use them. Why why are they copied in duplicate like that? Makes no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense. I've had enough of this program to be honest. Don't like it. It's a git. That's putting it very politely. Oh Jesus. I just don't know man, why did it do that? I 
I had some decent tiles drawn up. I think it was 16 by 16 though. Why? Why? That sounds good. All right, all right. Stupid. Maybe not. I mean, it wasn't really the language that's bothering me. It's like just. It's not quite. Um, it doesn't seem to work intuitively, if I'm honest. It's preference. It's a preference thing. When you get. Used to one program. What I want is like a darker bit of, bit of ocean. In fact, oh, you bastard! <laughs> no. Go away, Phil. Of course, it's a preference thing. Don't get me wrong. I moan, but I don't mean what I say. I'm just joking, you know. There we go. That's the shaded ocean. <laughs> It's really hard to draw in an 8 by 8 space. It's a fun task. I can see myself having fun with it when I get used to the software. Yeah, true that, man. I can remember the first time I used Unity. I was like, what the bloody hell is this? You know. But then again, it wasn't as good as it is now. You know, once you get used to it, it's like really intuitive. It's just what you get used to. I completely accept that. Like I say, ignore ignore my moans. I just moan just for the fun, just to say something sometimes. <laughs> right, let's get. Get a little bit of yellow in there as well, why not? We've got six tiles, but that's not really enough. Oh. I'm, I'm not being funny, I am going to be exploring other art programs, There's, I think maybe Coral, an old version of Coral, Paint Shop Pro, the best, it just told me I couldn't save it because I didn't have sync mode on.
Jog on. Right, what else can I do? A rock. This would already be enough <coughs> to test the problem out. Dude, how do I zoom? It's quite hard making it in 8x8. Eight eight. Just one. Really, I should probably draw like a 16. One. This will do for now. It's a sort of a gauntlet. Whoops. With gauntlet, they all fit into one little square like that, don't they? Something like that. I'm gonna have a brick path, I and mean, that would probably do it for now. The animal. I think I'll do all the corners and stuff. I know it does, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't really talk about it on on air, but there's ways of trying it before you buy it, <laughs> which I've got to say I'm glad I'm done with this. Even though this seems super powerful, you know, I'm knocking it, but it does exactly what you need it to do, to be honest. could flip that couldn't we if we wanted to it's not easy to flip a tile one tile I don't know maybe it's not maybe it's easy to start its own yeah 70 pounds just too much isn't it I mean you know it is a bit unfair for just um, they should have a personal edition shouldn't they only charge big businesses the money that's what like Adobe do isn't it you can get Adobe Maya for free nowadays. Or Odesco, sorry, not Adobe. But then they charge a business sort of three grand per year or something to use it. Too much in it, yeah. Especially with tools for free around. You know. All right, that'll do. So I'll we'll export this as a bitmap. That was the object of the game here. I 
I'm exactly the same as you, Vulcan. Although I must say, I found the best stuff is normally free, like Unity and um, Unreal, GIMP, uh, Blender. Yeah, too right, mate. I'll be honest. I've tried Photoshop out anyway, and I, that's an exp you know fairly expensive program. But I prefer GIMP, so I'm really glad I tried it for free before I went out and bought something like that. You know, because I only installed it about sort of half an hour later. <laughs> Save image as. Must be that. Yeah, here we go. Save it as an indexed bitmap. Not much to look at. Index bitmap I went for. And then it made me navigate all the way through. Okay. Finally, got some tiles. That's what I wanted to do earlier today. I, I hoped that I was going to fill all of the tiles up with something, just draw something with all of them. Well, I'll just close that down for now. That'll do for tonight on the artwork. Now I'm just moving moving my stream stuff around okay so hopefully that new tile set will just drop straight in in place of the other one hmm wait I use Streamlabs OBS at the moment. I used to use OBS. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I used to use the the normal OBS but now I use one called Streamlabs OBS which I think is pretty much the same thing but they've like snazzied it up a bit yeah I used to that's exactly what I used to do <laughs> that's interesting that Vulcan yeah I used to be the same as you I set it up so I could stream ages ago and then just didn't actually take the plunge and start doing it until a lot after that At first, I thought I could just play like old games and get popular, <laughs> but I think it's a lot more competition in that, you know, especially I don't even have the camera or anything. And then I just thought, well, you know what, coding could be fun online as well. Um, do you know what though? Look, we got provided it as a as a palette file and a till file and I've now got it as a bitmap mm. bugger now nah, I think I've got a cup my laptop's got a webcam
but nah, just gets in the way, doesn't it? Just has a needless hassle. <laughs> I mean, if I was really that way inclined, I could have bought myself a, a half decent streaming camera. You know, not like too expensive. They're not that expensive now, are they? You know, I don't think it's needed for this. I wonder how he made it into a till file. Yeah, well, in that well, it's more about the lighting, I guess, how it handles the lighting, because like my laptop does it, but I'd have to make sure the lighting was just right, otherwise it'd look really crap. Also, I I don't really know how I'd link in my laptop camera to my uh, other computer. It's well cheap to buy a la a, a webcam in it, like you say, I could get one for under a tenner. One day I will, mate. One day. But I live in a tiny little fucking room. Nothing special to look at around here, you know. Not really worth showing <laughs> on the screen, do you know what I mean? I'm just looking up about converting to this till file. I'm guessing till is a file is a file extension that um, Emook basically created with his t um, tools, where it extracts the palette. So I'm guessing, but it's phew, a complete guess that. I wonder if I can just include a tile map instead, a, a bitmap. I mean. Yeah, it's an extremely slow paced video today. I don't think I'm going to achieve anything this go. At the moment, my focus here is to try and convert this bitmap we just created into um, a tile file, which probably includes uh, entails extracting the palette information out of it. So you're left with just the tile data. I don't care what the file extension is called, as long as it's the same data format as that. But if we look at the tile file, you cannot see it so in, unless you have a hex editor and it's not in the right mode. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But if we look at mine, I'll drag it in there. Yeah, with my bitmap, you can actually see them. Yeah, so there's obviously something wrong here. I remember Emook saying we needed some to put it through a converter or something. I'm just reading on the tile map website now.
I mean, this is one of them problems where I'm like, when I say this, I mean the entire tile map solution. It is already 4 bit micro, it's definitely 4 bit because that's what that other program did. It's 100% 4 bit bitmap, but I think what happens is the palette data becomes the top of the bitmap file, and I think this has separated the two. Because I definitely set that to a 4 bit index bitmap. That's the whole point of using that pro motion. He linked his converter in Discord. That's awesome. Well spotted. He's a dude. He knew. He, he knows everything, you see. So he knew I'd need it today, I reckon. Tile.4bit.exe. Okay, well, I'm loading Discord right now. See all your messages. I'll re I'll read them later. Windows 10. Do you know everyone moans about Windows 10, but I've actually never had a problem with it. I found it's been awesome the whole time. Oh, I see what you mean. It's just a straight up exe file. I mean, luckily. I have all my protection turned off except for Smart Protect. Yeah, it's running. Sweet. Uh, I think it's put it in my temp file holder there. Oh no, download sweet. That'll do for now. So I've now got this on the screen. I'll show you in a sec. Cool, I can't wait to get back to a day where I'm just coding the whole time and knowing what I'm doing. Because moving these windows around is the right bummer, I tell you. 64 bit Windows 7, fair enough, fair enough. I know everyone bemoans Windows 10, but they used to bemoan Windows 7. My friend who's a game dev uses Windows 7, although I think he now does use 10. But he used to be one of them guys who said, don't get Windows 10. I'm the same as you, Vulcan, except for the first bit I've even got turned off. No, I've never had one. I think I might have, you, you know, because there are many, many viruses you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know they had it. But the thing is, you get all them and viruses off torrent sites and Russian bloody download sites or something. You know, you don't get it from going on YouTube and Twitch and wherever else like that. You know. I mean, I guess you could get it on Discord as well. Someone could send you a file that was um, a bit naughty. This looks weird though, because I've got a type. I've got a type stuff in there. Try drag drop. You seem to know what you're doing there, Vulcan, yeah? Probably be completely untraceable. <laughs> I mean, I've heard about people doing that, but I've never done it. If I, It's a bloody good idea, though, if you're going to do anything 
it might not be legal in all countries <laughs> I know in Sweden they don't mind you downloading copyright stuff but I think the government actively support the cop like um, people infringing copyright that might be that might be wrong that's something I've, I just remember hearing I'm trying to drag my tiles file into there right there's that cannot load palette it needs a palette doesn't it in a text format is that also on the discord I'll just check Let's just Google that. Oh. oh, it might be on his GitHub. Yeah. Cool, he's got a lot of code on here to look through. <laughs> right, let's search for R3 G3. Oh dear. Oh. He's got seventeen pages of code, I can't look for it all. I was trying to search. Just got to drop a sixteen color palette. Cool, it makes me feel like a complete noob. I have the next palette here where I downloaded it from somewhere but um, the thing is that's not a 16 color palette load up the project uh, in in paint shop pro or whatever the hell it's called promotion Should be able to download a palette, surely. I've opened promotion for a minute. Sixteen color palette, let's try and find one. It's weird that it said it was looking for the text version of it. I I thought it'd be easy to find. If it's just text. Oh, I'm looking at all sorts of junk here now. It 
It says text, uh, Ben. Nice to meet you, by the way. It said dot text. It had the full name and everything. In fact, let me show you. I'll, I'll, if I press, it'll text. See the name there? R3G3B2.text. Ah, well, it's a 16 color palette with that name, but yeah, can't find it online. It's a shame you'd think you'd think it'd just be on paste bin or something similar to that. No results, <laughs> no results found for that, unfortunately. Vice, I've got Vice on my system. I'm just gonna go to that folder then. Specific to the colours in my image. Okay, so do I go back into the art program directly? Which is here, I can load it up. Oh. Okay. Get palette from brush. I'm brand new to this software. I have no clue where anything is. Save palette. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. My coat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've got it now, thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ben Deluxe. Thank you very much. Similar to Vice, but let's, hopefully I've just saved that one now. It's got to open up. Oh. Right, so back to here. There we go, look. It, it accepted it. Thanks, Microman, for spotting that. It's converted. Where's the output file, though? Hmm. Maybe in the downloads folder again. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Incredible. I'll have to move them around later because I just can't be bothered to do it right now. But where are we? Are we? Right, tiles zero zero, we have them. Thank you for your help guys, that was awesome. Whoops, <laughs> bit of Ren and Stimpy again for you. <laughs> Nisu Dusu. Is that Japanese? So hopefully, finally, we can just drop it in instead of the other one now. <laughs> oh, 
Whew. See if it'll run. Just got a horrible feeling it won't. Oh, it's error. Ah, we're right outside of the memory again. Hmm, I wonder why it's bigger then. So it does... Perhaps actually, uh... It reduces its size. Oh, I can't see the size. Oh yeah, so the one we had before, tile sheet A, is one kilobyte, tile 0, zero is 16 kilobytes. Uh, I guess when I was reopening that, that thing had a crashed in it, maybe I set, changed the settings. Yeah. Oh, well, I feel like this is probably be a short video today, lads, because I'll get my head around this before I come back on tomorrow. I don't get it. I'm sure he said it was meant to be a uh, meant to be. Oh, maybe I have done too many tiles. Yo, thanks, Moz. Didn't know you were here. Nice to see you again. Thanks for the bits. Thank you very much. I think I've done too many tiles then. There's 768 tiles, yeah, but that's how many I was supposed to make. Just reading it now. Just tr checking it, I mean, so about to check it. You see, I was actually supposed to make more, 40 by 32. Yeah, it's going to be one of them, I think. I'll have to just do further experimentation to get some answers for myself to figure it out. I can't see any stars, that's a bummer. Where I live, there's no street lights or nothing. You can see all the stars. Right. How many bloody tiles am I meant to have in this thing? Oh, I've still got it on the wrong screen. It says that it comes in two resolutions, 40 by 32 or 80 by 32. But that's the map, that's not like the source map, if you know what I mean. I think that's the actual map, like this, uh, this bit here, that contains the index of which tile goes where. But 
I remember, I'm pretty sure Emook said it was 256 by 192, the source image of the bitmap. I actually honestly do think that it is the right amount of tiles, but It expects that amount of tiles as far as I was aware, Vulcan. Thirty two by twenty four, yeah? Is that not correct? Yeah, so two five six by one nine two. Yeah, but then that's how many. You, so the source image is is that size, and then the tile map. It's quite a confusing name. The tile map is the like actual amount of space you can populate with tiles. Does that make sense? So you can have forty tiles width in your tile map, or eighty. But this, what we're creating here. Is not a tile map. This is the tile definitions. The tile map is is what will be shown on the screen. So you could have all the same tile on the tile map, but you'd have to have forty of them in a row and thirty-two at a minimum. That's just my understanding of it so far. It says tile definitions. I'm trying to see the. Second data structure is the tile definitions themselves. Each tile identified by a tile number is eight by eight in size. With each pixel four bits to set up one to sixteen colours. Tile definition occupies thirty two bytes and is defined in X major order. Thirty two bytes. How can it be thirty two bytes? That's only sixty four pixels. Oh, a tile, okay. <laughs> Don't know, still none the wise after reading that. I'm trying to even work out. They've got tile definitions, tile map. Which one do they mean for the bitmap with the actual imagery on it? I'm guessing it's that one. But Oh, it's hefty. It's hefty on the old noggin, this. But this is something, when I go offline tonight, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to spend like four hours doing this on, on my own. Try and figure it out.
the first thing I need to know is what size should this source data file be I thought it was I thought it was this but then the file I managed to output with these settings is 16 kilobytes strange <laughs> bloody crazy Oh, this ain't even the same pick. This is this is a different. Hmm. I should have stuck with um GIMP, and then used Emooc's tool to convert it down to a four bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stuck. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, Vulcan. Add time. <laughs> Awesome. Um, I did think that, mate. I still can't see what size it should actually be. Full size tile map will occupy two five six zero bytes, eighty times thirty two. The other till file, pretty sure that will work. I should just leave it with my palette. Yeah, it's worked. <laughs> Look at the palette. Oh, am I on the wrong screen? No. Compare. They, there's, but the thing is, one of them's one kilobyte and one of them's sixteen kilobytes. I can see them in a. Uh, too many bloody screens open here. This is a nightmare. Um, I can see it in here just briefly. Right, so there's my one we just made. Much bigger, I guess. Three F C O. Oh, 
it's when he goes to that. I mean, let's delete all the all the junk out of the end of it then. Still doesn't leave me any the wiser as to why though. Also, what the hell are these pluses doing there? There's probably more to come. Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? Whew. I'll open in HXD then. It's weird to get these gaps. Crazy stuff, this. Alright, so how big is that now then? Same size as the other one, roughly. It's loading, and there we go. We got some. We've got the same problem though arising that where um, it's not quite doing the tiles properly. So I've got a lot of work to do here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely start afresh with a tile sheet. I want to find out what the maximum size of a tile sheet I can import is and what the minimum is. By guess just by experimentation, but to to do that, I actually need to understand this code better. So I have a lot of work to do myself behind the scenes here to understand exactly what is happening. When I come back, I'll probably have constants for a lot of these with hopefully some meaningful names, especially these ones, because there is guides in the documentation. It tells you what they're doing. I did look it up today. A lot of it I do already understand when I'm when I've got the docs in front of me. Yeah, no, I am happy. I am happy. It's just um, what's the word like? I don't. It's not stressful, but it's like I can't. I've got to a stage where I can't actually learn anything. At this moment, and I'm talking about stuff I don't even understand, if you know what I mean. So I either need to do something completely different, but I'd rather see this to the end. It's well worth learning. But also, that's what's getting... Again, I didn't want to use the word stressful, but I've got so many windows open on my screens here. And it makes it harder. Let's have a look. I mean, it does look bloody cool. I think it looks great. I like them. 
look at it. The most urgent thing is what is happening with them black ones up there. I believe it's going through in 16 bit, uh, 16 bit, like, um, how can I draw it? Let's have a look. I think what's happening is it's going 0, 1, 2, 3. That's just what I'm guessing. It would be stupid, but I've got a feeling that's what it's Change up the tile map. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to do as well. But we've got them black ones, did you see? So we've only actually got two tiles. So two and three don't mean anything. I wonder if four and five do. Oh, we've got two errors. Oh, <laughs> I left that junk down there, didn't I? Where was it? There. Yeah, see, I think I kind of suspected correctly. I've managed to get the water to show up. Of course, of course. I mean, this line of bushes demonstrates, and the grass itself demonstrates the use of tiles. Because you've got, you know, just two tiles and you've managed to draw an entire world there. A field with a load of bushes in it, you know. But so, it seems to me like it's missing them out. Very odd that. It's really odd. But let's just find out which ones are which then by just doing one, two, three, four, five. Probably start using hex. Nah. This would definitely help us figure out what's happening. Right, see the doors for example at the top there, so it's like there's a gap of two and then for some reason it gets duplicated, the same tile. Mountains and a sword. <laughs> yeah, true that, that will come eventually my man. I mean, I'd like to get one tile drawn correctly first, because look at these up here. A few tiles to find. That's it, I'd love to just use these existing ones. We'll definitely do that before I go offline. I'll, I'll make sure. I mean, look, I can already see.
I'll take a note of it now so that I can try and work out what's happening but it seems that zero is grass one is bush two, three, four is also bush five and eight dark water so there's going to be a pattern in there nine what twelve and, and then that's just one of the doors isn't it so there's actually going to be more doors so zero one five Nine. So there's four between each tile. Of course, I could probably get rid of all them blank ones. And also, I don't know why they're duplicated, but hey, listen. <laughs> we need the, uh, we need a battle scene. Zelda uh, Final Fantasy style. I had a great idea for this game as well. It was going to be nothing like Final Fantasy. It was going to be some sort of modern thing, but I've completely forgot what the theme was now. Oh yeah, I was going to do a Red Dwarf. I was thinking we could, I could make like a Red Dwarf RPG. <laughs> now that could be funny. Could rob like bits of the storyline. So yeah, there's four between each one. I may as well just write them down. One, five, nine, thirteen. I do rock as well. I didn't on this one. This is all we've got. It's a shame. So I just made them blank. We'll have to pretend bushes or walls. We'll have to come up with, we'll have to design a level editor at one point that can create these for us. Right. Make it a satire, of course, of course. I'm open to all ideas. It'd be really fun though, wouldn't it? And quite cool to draw the sprites. Blue giant. They've got the um they call it the uh Small Rouge one, don't they? <laughs> Blue Giant. <laughs> so all I've got is some water. I'm going to put some dark water by the side here. I just realised. Let's 
it's probably a zero missing out of one of them. I should have made them all double zeros. Triple really if there's gonna be a hundred. God, I really should have. I guess actually meant to do that. Magenta midget, I like that one. That's good. <laughs> so we've seen the tile map in action. I've, I've messed it up because I should have made them double zero. There's actually a border here stopping me walking. That's quite cool so far. Blue alert, changing the palette. What, well, everything's blue. Like a monochrome blue. I do love Marooned. That's a great episode. I think my favourite ever episode is the Back to Reality though. Where they uh, wake up in the in the virtual reality gear, and they scored like two percent. And there's that brummy guy. That is brilliant. That when I first saw that, it blew my mind. Being a young lad, back to reality. That's it. Was a classic. And a fun fact: I found out later. I watched a documentary with all of them, and that guy's not even a brummy. Actually, yeah, it's not called back to reality, is it? Or is it? Yeah, it is. You're right, it is. I was thinking of the more new one then. That's all back to something else, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what, though? There's a, a young lad in my family. He's only like... Well, he's, he's like 17 now, but I showed him it when he was like 14. And he loved it. And he showed all his mates, and they all loved it. So they all started watching all these back catalogues of Red Dwarf, you know, all these young lads, telling me how much they loved it. It's brilliant. I like how it gets the, the layering. I suppose now it's just always on top, yeah. Jesus and the Lemons, yeah, that's one of the more new ones, isn't it? But they are still funny. The old ones are definitely my favourite. <coughs> great show, though, yeah. Wouldn't that be great, making a game about that, like, based on this sort of game engine? But where you had to go around figuring out puzzles and doing stuff, you know, and obviously there'd be battles. Battles with different monsters, the despair squid. Every monster that's ever been in the show, you'd have to fight. <laughs> Thing is, I'm going to run out of memory often in this game, just like I do on the normal spectrum. So I'm going to have to get help with that of how to better manage the memory and load it when I need it only and then discard it. I'm definitely going to make a better tile set, but I have to figure out why there's these big gaps in this um, export tool. Perhaps I need to look at another export tool just to confirm that it's not the um, the source that's doing this. I I've got a feeling it's the source code, you know, the um, image source, rather than the the my code or you know our code here. Which I've helped, had heavy amount of help to write. I could delete all these zeros. Oh God! What?
Yeah. Exactly. It does sound good, doesn't it? But yeah, I, there is massive amount of work for me to be able to get to that level because I want to. I'm one of them. I have to like know. I can use things that I don't know how they work, but when it's something big like this, I have to know the ins and outs of it. I can't just use it, especially when it doesn't quite work properly. Maybe if it had just worked, I would have just used it by now and you know drawn some nice tile maps. But most certainly when I come online tomorrow, I'll have all this doubled up so you know so that it won't look all horrible like this. I'll have a good source tile map. Body swap, yeah. I love it, man. I do love it. Like I say to you guys, if, 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 if you've watched the channel a long time, you'd know. I watch a lot of Star Trek right now. But they're nothing on the Red Dwarf. Because like, I didn't watch Star Trek for, forever. You know, I never watched it. I've just started. But they're still fun. I like a bit of Star Trek now. But, but Red Dwarf kicks ass. <laughs> The till file 16k. It's back to one kilobyte now, but that's only because I deleted all the empty tiles. That was, yes, it was. How many tiles should it be then, Micro? Because you normally get the answer. You know how to look things up and find the answer. It was 768, the, t the amount of tiles I used. Oh, yeah, 256 would be plenty. I mean, I'd, I could definitely make a game with way under that, yeah. Wesley Crusher. <laughs> I love it, Vulcan, I love it. You'd think with your name, you would have based your life on Spock. <laughs> yeah, under 64 micro. That's what I need to look at, is how to do that. And why is it important it with all these zeros in between each tile? Like there's every tile has a load of bleep blanks after it. I think it's exporting it's importing or exporting sixteen by sixteen tiles. Perhaps I could just write my own tiles. They're only You can only, it can only be like between 0 and F four times, you know. Vulcan's nothing to do with that. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. What's the internet spaceship gate? Oh, is that, um, what's it called? Forget now what it's called. I used to play that one that you have to pay pay each week each month for, but I used to be a free player. <laughs> Eve, that's it, that's it. Yeah, I'm an I'm an elite dangerous guy myself. I love that game. But it has limited appeal after a while, of course. That's another game that really you want a whole community of people. What's that about Micro Man? You think you know why this or Two by two, that's what I meant, yeah, sixteen by sixteen, that's what it seems to do. Yeah, I think that's what the answer is. Look at the project. Yeah, but it done it on both. It done it on um this is definitely eight by eight. But the other one was one that Emook himself actually exported using my GIMP one. Do 
Do you mean this? <laughs> 16 tiles. 16 pixel. All that happened was I drew some that were already 16 by 16, thinking that that was how big they were going to be. But then I quickly made a bunch of 8 by 8 one sent some to emook he sent me back that till file but the till file has the exact same problem that this one i've just made tonight has so the only options in my mind are the tool in the middle that we just used called uh whatever it was called tile four bit yes I actually think it's that tool in the middle, it's this that's doing it wrong. But I hope I hope I am wrong. And I'm sorry if I am wrong that I've done Emook a disservice there. Because he wrote this tool, I believe. If I'd have drawn some tiles here at the bottom, underneath these, we would have known straight away. Some lava. Test tiles. Well, it'd be better to just do a whole solid colour because you'd be able to see the hex easier. If you only put one pixel, you'll have loads of zeros everywhere. Right? No, don't do that, Vulcan. Please. <laughs> I've got a feeling I can um, sort this out, to, but overnight, you know. I do have a feeling that the export tool in the middle is what's doing it, the converter. Got too many tiles here now. Let's make a new project and just do all blank, all solid color like that. I'll just do eight by two, 16 tiles, pixels file. I trimmed it down because I went into a hex editor and cut it right down to one kilobyte. But it was still filling them up with padding. It, it, it was doing it in the order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Instead of 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what, I, that's what it looked like to me. But we'll find out now because I'll just put them all solid colours. I'm not going to do magenta. It was only 16 kilobytes, Vulcan. How many pixels? Well, I trimmed it down, that's what I mean. I trimmed it right down, but to start with, it was 256 by 192. Sixteen, yeah. Yeah, but then we've got a whole bunch of uh 
sprites and stuff in there and fonts and it might have only gone one byte over 16 by 16 8 by 8 Or 16 by 16, sorry. The tile set says it has to be 8 by 8 in the guidelines. Sixty-four bytes. That's right. It did say that. Oh no, thirty-two because it's four, four bit. It's only sixteen color bitmap. Yeah, it's four bit color depth. Or am I, am I wrong? I think that's the case anyway. Anyway, look, we've got 16 there, and I'm betting that this will be tile 0, and this will be tile 1. And look, bit depth 4. So I'll save the palette. Call it crap tiles dot palette. Craptiles dot BMP and it's indexed bitmap. It's a test Vulcan. <laughs> a test sheet. Oh, so many windows open. I've got like command window open, like it's 10 of them. There we go. Right. Crap till is 16 kilobytes again. Something's wrong with that. The flip. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I exported it as a 4 bit bitmap already. <laughs> I 
yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I tried to do to start with. The first one I done was 256 pixels wide and 192 height. Why would that be that large though? What's going on there as well? It was able to show me that a minute ago. I can see in HXD that the, what, what I suspected was correct because the zeros now are only at the end. There's none in between each tile. So I'm deleting them, all of the zeros. Now it'll probably run. Oh, it's got the old timer. I didn't change it. Whoops. Uh, of course, my palette. Oh, I've got an error. It's gone over the memory. Yeah, there's much learning to do here for me. I have no clue what I'm doing here. Crap tiles is only one kilobyte as well again. 512 bytes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I deleted all the zeros, saved it, and they're back again. Delete, save. Right, okay, it's one kilobyte. Probably put them back in. Tiles. Oh, hey, there we go. So it's showing each and every tile. I'll put them in order. And then you'll see what order they're getting drawn in compared to how I drew them. I think as you said earlier
He probably done what we done. I bet you. Just deleted all the zeros out of it. Yeah, that was good sleuthing. My, I'm suspecting here that, as you can just see, I've drawn it in one, two, three, four, five order, the normal order. So you would think it would be dun 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 dun, but I'm betting, I'm betting it'll go that 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 that, or perhaps even that 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 that. Yeah, I think he just cropped it. Which is basically what I just done as well. It's good to know the exact like size he cropped it out there. <clears throat> um, let's run it now. It seems like we've made no progress, but look, it's actually a lot of progress for me that because you can see exactly. I was right, it's gone bang, 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 bang. So it's doing 16 by 16 tiles. Didn't even reach here. Yeah, it doesn't. Even... I've done 16. Some are getting duplicated there. Honest, quite honestly, I think it must be that export tool. Set it for 8x8 eight eight and 1x1. One one. You mean in, in the here? Eight by one, so sixteen by one. Like that, that would work. It's got to work, hasn't it? Good shout. Yeah, very good shout. That's what I will do. I guess I'll quickly try this before I go off then to see if the export tool actually likes it now if I do this. It's not 16 by 16. That's the width, that's how many tiles look. Yeah, right. What what went weird, Vulcan? <laughs> oh one eight nine. Oh, I see. With the ordering, it was strong. Really was. Let's try my command suggestion here, though. I see. Yeah. Four by four tile. What what for? Am I being dumb? 
Is that yeah, it's a four by four tile then? My typing's terrible as well. Order of the colours, I get ya. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I can't imagine why though. Test. Okay, so I've saved it again. Oh, God, that bloody program. because yeah, the test bitmap itself is only two kilobytes as in bitmap form before it goes through the converter yeah it converts it into a full screen like um, Benderlux said because you can see it added this black uh, nullness So it didn't matter that we did it all in a line, really, I don't think. So it could be the code, actually. It could be the code. Red dwarf catfish. Fish! <laughs> Vertical line. Okay. I mean, give me a second. Give me a second. I want to check the size of that output. I've got to jump around all these folders all the time. Sixteen K again. Give me a moment. I'm just going to the toilet. I'll be right back.
Okay. Right, so a vertical one. I'm not so sure it will make any difference, to be honest. Because it's going to create a full file, like, you, like we were just saying. Like this, this sub piece of software here, tile to four bit, turns it into a full, full screen. Need a full screen of them. That's what I actually need. I see. A, I see the video you just sent. I'll have to check that out soon. Chop the end off. Oh, I see. Ah, good shout. Okay. It would be nice in the code to use bitmap instead of till. Okay. Yeah. In that case, it would be nice to know how to convert it myself so that I could see what was happening. It'd be nice to see, to be able to understand the converter code. Possibly I can't, I wouldn't, wouldn't understand it, you know. But. Let's try that. Put it on the tower. Okay, so back into the tool, the converter. We're looking at a tower. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So it's outputted.
it's outputted another um, another what's it called 16k file so I'm gonna to have to come up with a way of handling these it's obviously that I'm supposed to have it as 16k It is 16k. I'm just uh, going to go into HXD with it. Oh god, what have I just done here? Oh, I don't know. Look at this. Whoa. Okay. I do like the look of it. It's because I'm in the wrong view. I need to be in 16 uh, 4 bit view. I don't know, that can't be right, can it? Look at it. Hang on, I can see this chat come in, but I've got no chance of seeing it yet. I don't see how that would represent that tile set. It doesn't look right whatsoever, does it? Is it possible that the converter's broken? <laughs> That's definitely what came out of the converter. Shouldn't matter that I use the test palette, should it? <laughs> it's an ASCII move, I think. <laughs> I love that. I think it is, man. I don't think the palette would matter either. There'd be no point in separating the two if they were so dependent on each other. I use the same palette every time in the editor. It's a shame. I was hoping to do something a bit better by the end of the vid, but I feel I've hit a brick wall here, and then another brick wall has come back behind me and shut, shut any chance of escape. At the moment, just exploring um, tiled backgrounds on the next a hey, Tinder. So you, I'll sh I'm almost finished for the night, but basically for now, we've been making like a Final Fantasy style game, but we're just messing around with the tile map right now. Um, so it looks like, looks like this right now, but. But yeah, it's going to come along. You you won't see it in a couple of weeks. We'll have a whole little game going with some NPCs chatting to us. Look at out there with all the different colours now showing. <laughs> yeah, it was. It looked amazing a minute ago. <laughs> Yeah, there's much more work to be done, but really I've just been just trying to get the tiles to work correctly at this stage. I don't actually care what they look like. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, it's gonna get it's gonna get cool tenders for sure. It's gonna take some time though. It's brand brand new to the next. But there's not many people out there really doing the dev on the next, so it will be will be exciting to get good at it. But yeah, I've I've tired myself out because I've been doing streams slightly later than I'd like to all week, and then today got home from work and all I've done is struggle against this pallet stuff. Yeah, you're doing it too, aren't you, Benderlo? There's definitely some some next devs out here, but not as many as you you know as would like. <laughs> yeah, we've definitely had a bit of a bit. I mean, I've learned a lot of stuff that I can't do. If you know what I mean, so that's always good to know. Like this palette thing and that. Eventually, it'll come. It'll come good. It's like anything. The very first time you do it, it's very confusing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and open a completely fresh project. Try and import a full sheet of tiles and see if I still run out of memory. And hopefully, Emook will come along in the next few days and help us out again. That would be brilliant, you know. Of course, I'm not relying on him, but if he, if he, without him, I would be nowhere near this far forward. But that's okay, you know. If I have to go back to the drawing board and rewrite the tile input code, that's what I'll do, you know. When I say the tile input, like the tile um, data upload. Um, it might be, yeah, uh, micro. <laughs> I've got a... Um, I've got a special membership. If you do need help with it, drop me a line on um, Discord and I can link you to where I got it. <laughs> I'm just trying it out. To be honest, I'm going to try Coral out, Paint Shop Pro. Load it somewhere with a 16k available. Yeah, out of memory suggests you're trying to load it outside the 16, 64. Um, okay. This is where I load it. Well, I've got an expert here. I may as well ask you. Here. And then I'm starting my program here. So I'm, that's one of the things that I'm very confused about that I need to uh, learn. Went through the PSP. Okay, thanks, Bendo. Because I all get 8,000 hex. Pay for the upgrade. Is that Paint Shop Pro? I used to use it in college and it was really good. Uh, here's where I load it. So you've seen that obviously, yeah? Then I start putting stuff here with different pages. I think they're only like two kilobytes, didn't they, these? And then the same address here. I take it the pages, they're like. That's why I'm able to load it to the same address because it's a different page. Slot 7, yeah. I believe so, yeah. Is that not the only way to do it then? Because we're using more than one page, but like one page contains the tile map, and then one page contains the tile source.
banks at 8k so okay still that's obviously why we're going over that isn't it yeah it really is Vulcan I've jumped ahead from stuff that I was quite comfortable doing like to this which I'm not comfortable at all but that's the fun part of game dev learning new things uh, I need two banks so load 8k swap to another bank Okay, that sounds doable. So when you say swap to another bank, is that a different page? And if so, why aren't we starting at zero? Cut it in half, yeah, but that would be alright, because like you say, surely when you upload it, you can just upload half and then upload the other half. When I say upload, I'm talking about like the LDIR thing. I'm in world smoke while we're, we're, we're chatting. Pages and banks, okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. It's the addresses that I use in the code, yeah, the org address. Right, okay. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So no matter what page you're on, the ROM will still be there at the low end of memory. Okay. Oh, that's that black diagram that we saw to the earlier today and yesterday. Yeah, we'll do that only as an emergency or when we're very advanced. Yeah, we'll, I won't jump. I better not. I better try and get the basic tile map working first, in its most simple form. Yeah, that's it. That's going to be too hard, man. Maybe this time next year we'll be doing that. have to access the pages so that's obviously this call here I guess that's what that's doing isn't it okay Okay. It's very complicated stuff this, I think. I'll be well proud of us if, if we get through this. Whoever manages it, you know, be proud of yourself. I see. I see, Ben, though. This was exactly the stuff I'm going to, when I said I was going to stay up for hours reading and fiddling. This is what I'm going to fiddle around with. Because I just can't let this beat me. It's actually getting on my nerves, not being able to understand it. So 
So when you swap a bank into a page, you're changing what is at that address. Okay. I take it you can only work with one bank at a time. That's the point of banks, is it? You know, you have to switch. Yeah. Yeah. And the 8K size. I see, yeah. So you have to open one up, close it to open another one, I guess. So to to put a tile map onto it, okay. I see. <laughs> I'm with you. It's a little bit like the exchange registers then, a little bit. The concept. Vulcan. That makes, it makes a lot of sense. It's just knowing how to do it, though, and I, I kind of get the concept. A little bit hotter. <laughs> There's quite a few problems with this code because it's not just one thing that's going wrong. Next one you call two arguments. Okay, that'll be one of these in here. Page number, bank number. <laughs> I'll chip away at it slowly, Vulcan. I'll get there in the end. Mm hmm okay whoa thanks man thank you micro that's well and I see you dude Fill that mug. How did it get empty again? I've got to get a new mug. I've got to figure this out. I want a perma mug. <laughs> I'll figure something out really fun for that thing too. I'm just reading that website again about the tile maps. Just try and see what next, what the next register actually is. Which one? Is it 57? Get a bong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I 
a legal bong. California. Like, make sure it's a dude that's living in California. He tokes it. <laughs> It would be funny to make a game about a bomb, like Wrath of Bomb. But I'm trying to keep it more family friendly. <laughs> Super Toker. Memory map, thanks, Bendo. Because I'm looking at the forward slash tile map. Oh god, I've just shook the window and lost everything. Okay, I see the 8k banks. Physical memory map. help with the tile map. Okay. It might help me load in the tile map data in there, yeah. Okay. That's really helped that last thing you just said, Bendo. That's massively helped me. I'm having problems with too many windows still, but basically I'm on this screen here. And blackout, yeah, I'll fix that now. Sorry, dude. It's too many windows, like I say. I'm going to sort it out soon. My graphics card won't go into that high resolution either, so I can't even have it any higher. So I'll try changing it to C instead of E. Yeah, I'm just that's exactly what I was just thinking. I'll check if I haven't used it already. Do you notice we're using it here? We're gonna have to I should have used constants, you know. I hope they do as well, Vulcan, that's gonna be good. I mean like I had a thought after you said it though. I don't know if I'll be able to plug many of them in because my graphics card, I've got a low profile graphics card, low powered. Let's make a content, a, a constant for this right now. So that would be something like. map address I think as soon as I see constants in my code I do feel better Okay, yeah. Which I guess is what we're doing here, is it? How do we bank in? Oh, we need the next wedge. Hang on, I think we've got it already. Let's have a look. Let's, I'll just change these to that that address. And then Look, this 5.7 must be the bank. Because it's 16 and then... That's also 6... Oh, that, that's 50. No, that's 16, isn't it? <laughs> They're both 16. Uh, 
That's 15. C thousand is about six. C. All right. No, it's me who's mixed them up. Yeah. I'm totally mixed up with them, but I will get it when I'm when when I'm alone. I'll figure this out. Trust me. I've got you've given me enough tools to get on with. But I'll try that now. Like you said, I think I've set that to C now. Whoa! Let's try going back to the other tile sheet. Uh, let's try. Oh, well, of course, they're all small now. I'm not sure. Here's where I did it. Here's the palette going in. Banking next wedge call is... Can't find <laughs> Take that on board Vulcan hundred percent. <laughs> yeah, we just added loads of confusion to our brain, which is why we're here really, isn't it? It's lovely to get results at the end, but it's even more satisfying when it's something tricky like this. I should have commented every line, shouldn't I? And then I would have been alright. I want to know what that does. Just googling that. You're here for the journey, that's good to know. God, this is a longer journey than average, isn't it? It's hard to Google it because it's coming up with the. It's coming up with bind, like decimal 57, next reg. MMU slot 7, so that's nothing to do with it then. Set a spectrum rampage. Right, okay, so 5 6. What, just for one of them? Thank you, my dude. I'll read that now. Or for both of them, maybe. <clears throat> I think I'm on that exact page. I was just reading that, actually, funnily enough. So do I want both of them on bank six? Yes, both. Sorry, I didn't see that. Whoa, psychedelic. Looks like a ray. Let's go back to one of the original tile sets that we knew were working.
<laughs> Whoa. Something's not right, is it? Tile pallet. Ah, says <laughs> slot seven. Nice one, man. Okay, so I've done slot six there. Whoa, thank you for the follow, dude. HRH, good to meet you. HRH, this is the second. <laughs> so now they're all saying slot six, because I think that's sort of something to do with slot six as well. It was on seven before. No. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure these tile sheets are actually all right still. A lot of black in there, a lot of transparent. But there's some tiles there. It should have one of every tile at the start. Oh, this time they showed up. How weird is that? Another Heisenberg. Yeah, a lot of them. But you can see what's happening at the top there. It duplicates every tile. They come out in a strange order. And then you get all this magenta. But it is definitely better. I'm not sure why it failed on the first attempt. That was weird. But we've made little bits of progress. It doesn't look like it, but we have quite a bit all over the place. I'm not 100% convinced that that exporting um, converter tool was working correctly. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, let's try that then, just before I go off. Um, sadly, I think I'll have to create yet another one. Oh, I can just convert one again. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. So I'll put it back on that screen there. So I'm using this application. Importing that. So this should now be 16K. And it, that appears in my download folder in one sec. Yeah, got it. Okay. I over it. Crap tiles. So Bendo, is it only six and seven I could use, or could I have used five, for example, uh, slot? The Emuka. <laughs> okay, I think that is actually how it's supposed to look with this particular tile set. And if you look at the top there, that looks pretty good. And this is a 16 kilobyte full set of tiles that we've just imported. So thanks to Benderlux there, we've actually, that's a massive step forward.
I believe that them colours... Oh, they are duplicated, look. So that's not working correctly still. But I wouldn't be surprised if that's the exporter. I'm going to have to do further investigation by studying the hex output a lot to see whether it... Because I think that the hex output looks like it's wrong to me. But I've only been glancing at it. Colour settings. What, on that, on that application? Promotion. I've, I'll go back to it again, just while you're looking, Micro, if you are. I've got to load it again there, unfortunately. But I, I specifically choose 4 um, 4-bit, so it's 16 colour. Did he? I did read the Discord. Sixteen color palette, yeah. So we can actually go back to thirty two by twenty four, which is what it should be. And I will I'm gonna sit there and make that seven hundred and sixty eight really cool little tiles. Some of them will be quad tiles and stuff. Oh, forgive me if I'm not reading your messages right now. Again, I've got too many screens open here. <laughs> yeah, he might do. He's a top dude. You know, he spent loads of time helping me thus far. So, you know, he's probably a bit tired out with all the typing. I know he did say, you know, it gets on his nerves doing too much typing. Fine, we'll get there in the end. Um, yeah. Bit depth. It's four. I mean, yeah, maybe I could try three. Did he say three? Maybe Microman's just hit the nail on the head there. Colours menu. <laughs> I love it, Vulcan. I do love to actually make progress and show off cool looking games and that though, it's really fun. I thought Spiky in Space was a real fun project. So were all of them, Mikey, the Spiky Mikey game. It was all great fun. Click bit depth, yeah, I've changed it to three. I've just changed that. It was four before. Try three, sod it. It's, it's... Definitely Vulcan. I'm glad you say that, man. I said it at the start of one of my videos, though. I just like to blast things. I love to make things with, like, lasers and shoot stuff and get points. I've just learned a great skill off Bender Deluxe there though by changing the bank. I was worried all, all when I was driving around working tonight. I was thinking, don't tell me I'm going to run out of memory again on this bloody system. Like already, we've hardly added anything to the game. And I was trying to work it out how to get around that. Um, Emook was also saying you can discard once you've uploaded it to the memory. You can actually discard it from the other bit of memory and reuse that. I guess I'll quickly try and bash out of some tiles. It's a bit annoying at this stage, but I've got a feeling it might work now though. The free bit.
Yeah, but like my my sprites might grow. That's the bit I don't get. I think I have to. You know how I load my sprites? Going off on a tangent quickly, but this is quite interesting, right? Uh, so I've got my sprites here, uploaded from Microman's, um, not Microman, Emook's other tool. But I actually need to upload that data in the same manner as this, I think. Like how I've uploaded this. That way I can then d dump it later. You know, just by rewriting this over the top of it or something. I think that's the way to do that. I mean, maybe there's another way with. I'd love to, the way I've already done them sprites, I'd love to continue doing that because I understand it fully. I'm going to deliberately leave them black bits there. I know I do. I've, I've got a horrible feeling this won't work actually. Three bit doesn't make sense. Why would it need to be three bit? Alright, for the final time tonight, I'm going to use Emooks other tool. This time with 3 bit. Convert to 4 bit, the tool says. I can't imagine this working. Perhaps he wants like a full 32 bit bitmap to be imported in. So I'm just moving it into there. Alright, so we've got a similar problem that we had before where there's two black squares between every one and then a duplicate. Very odd. Let's look at the hex then and see whether it's the import code or whether it is the output of this converter. Odd that you get these zeros, isn't it? So I would say it's definitely the output, personally, because why do we get this again after that? Four, four, four. What do you mean by that though, um, Michael? Didn't I already, that's what I've been doing all night. It's 444. Four, four. Oh. oh, wait there. Do you remember his name though, the palette? It was like, it said 332. Three, 
We did 3-3-3 three, three, three and 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I've been the very first few I did were all 4-4-4. Four, four, four. But hang on, I've just had a four. If I put this in here, and I put that in there, yeah, and I do it with no palette, it says, cannot load R3 G3 B2 dot palette. Let's just give it a try and see. In fact, I'll just open it in the hex editor. Not this one. Go away. looking like it suffers with the same problem again really odd Yeah, but we, the thing is, it, yeah, it outputs a bitmap, but we want it as a till. That is why I've been converting it. You'll see if you look ever watch the video back, you will see I, I displayed that I had this quite a few times at the start of the video. Yeah, it's a bummer. And I even said at one point, it'd be nice to be able to just import the bitmap but I think that has like palette data built into it and all that each colour will overflow um, what would cause that Bendo? all palette is 9 bits ok oh really Oh, okay. Yeah, I get you. But, mm, I mean, I definitely had it on four from the majority of the time. I mean, I don't even need to crop it. With, with that Bendelux's technique, we can load the full 16K now. But if you look at that hex output, compare it to the image above, why is there two so here and then here? And then why are all these zeros there? To me, it looks like the output is wrong.
if you crop the fire at 400, it'll just the tiles would still be right, wouldn't they? But they'd suddenly stop. The bank. Ah, uh, I wondered whether how that was working. So, in, to, in order to do that. Um, so bank seven. Do I need to do that here as well? Then, probably not. Ah, this size thing. This could be it, you know. Um, what's eight K in bytes? It's not exactly eight thousand, is it? One oh two four times eight. Ah, oh, this calculator. Why is nothing working for me on this computer at the moment? Pallet. <laughs> Wouldn't the pallet five six? 512 or something. My map. My map. It's funny enough. The map should be exactly the same size, shouldn't it, as the, <coughs> as the image of the bitmap. 16k by the way. In fact, it's bigger than that, and it? it's forty by forty by thirty-two bytes. Three K, I don't know. Oh. Five twelve. Two bytes for each color. Okay, thank you. I wonder why we put two thousand there then. I remember Emu saying it was a value you just pulled out of the air. Oh, sorry, Bendo. I do apologise, man. <laughs> Same problem. Hmm. Weird. Oh, are you giving me much to think about? I'm going to try and do it in an empty project and see what problems I run into. You know, personally, when I try and implement it, 
I guess that will help me understand. Yeah, strange that that output file on the hex just looks so weird. I don't get that. I certainly will ask you Mook about it. Hopefully he'll explain it, you know. I'm sure it's just me being thick. Because I have only just downloaded ProMotion. Maybe I've done that wrong. You know, my, my setup tools, my export tools on it. <coughs> export setup, so yeah, the gaps don't make sense, do they? So either I'm doing something wrong on ProMotion, or perhaps that that thing is just not working correctly with the files I'm giving it. Um, yeah. Everyone seemed to enjoy it still. There was lots to learn from from failure. So, <laughs> and we are still, um, you know, we have still got the graphics drawing on the screen. Yeah, man. So, sorry if it's distracting you too much. I really appreciate your help there. Oh, you reckon that that that, that tool is cropping the file? Fair enough. I didn't even notice like the crop. It seemed to be adding data to me, like adding missing data. But I don't know. I don't understand it as well as you guys just yet. You know, I'm not quite as used to working in binary with colours and four bit values and stuff like that. It's all good it's all new to me, but I love it. It's something I've always wanted to do. Well, tomorrow's gonna be a better day. It probably is gonna be a late one again for me tomorrow because it's Saturday night and I always get kept late at work. I'm really excited about adding more to this tile map. Yeah, I think I'll go offline now because I don't want to wear myself out too much. Got to get up and do a load of stuff before work and then get back here and sort this out afterwards. Big win, in it? Thank you, Bendo. Also, thank you for the follow, um, HR. That was really good of you. Thank you for the bits, Microman and Moz. All of you really helping me keep going really fun I'm really enjoying it anyway like I always say I'd be here doing it for free you don't feel even even you don't even have to give a small amount I don't mind but, um, yeah thank you very much and I'm gonna leave it here tomorrow hopefully I'll come back with already some pre-work done like some nice tiles it is fun good Bendo good good yeah I'll draw some nice looking tiles and we'll um, it really is challenging. It really, really is. A, that's the best thing about game coding, the challenge. I don't have a real next. No, I probably won't ever get one until it's much cheaper, to be honest. Uh, either that or, even, you know, if I get into some money. But, nah, I've got too many other things I'd need to buy before that as well, to be honest. <laughs> So maybe I'll get the board though. You know when they when they bring out the board again. Yeah, you know they said sold out, but someone bought just the motherboard, and you can plug it into a forty eight k. Yeah, man. I'll get one eventually, but the emulators are going to get better and better as well. So you know I'm not going to completely miss out on it, especially if I can make some games for it. It's going to be even better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't wait till it comes out. I'm hoping that by then I'll be making some proper decent games. Anyway, yeah, goodbye to all of you. I'll leave it here. Yeah, I'll do that actually. I'll keep an eye out on eBay. Perhaps they'll be selling on eBay eventually with in, inside a 48k case. Like the older boards. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it all. But anyway, I'll let you get back to work, Ben, though. <laughs> I'm going to get off the bed. Nice having you around, though, man. And to everyone else.
Thanks very much for popping in. Someone should plan to do that, man. Especially if they can make a clone of the board. <laughs> yeah, all good. Yeah, I'm going to do the same micro. Yeah, I'll try and jump on Discord. It's something I try and do, but my head doesn't always accept me doing it. <laughs> I don't always have the time. But I will hop on and have a look out for your message. 